An apartment complex in San Marcos is dealing with a slew of health code violations and safety concerns, and now some of the tenants have to move out. They tell KVU's Kelsey Sanchez they have nowhere else to go. The future of some people who live at Sutton Apartments in San Marcos is up in the air. We got a letter with the date saying to move out. The apartment complex on Linda Drive is in the spotlight after the city's police department, code enforcement division, and fire marshal pointed to a surge in criminal activity, drug distribution in the area, and uninhabitable conditions for residents. My floor has been wet since I moved in. Leanne Hall says she moved in February. Since then, she's dealt with break-ins, a turnover of apartment managers, and no resolution. Um, there's a lot of stuff goes on, but most of it's not the people that live here. It's people that come here. San Marcos officials say since June, police responded to more than 80 calls at the complex. If they were patrolling more before, none of this would be happening. I mean, there would be still stuff happening, but not as much. The city says they were working with the complex over the past year trying to get management to comply. It wasn't until August when issues became so severe, the complex received a health and safety warrant, prompting notices of evacuations to several residents. Like Tressa Cook, who says she has nowhere to go. It's their responsibility to keep the conditions livable. They failed to do that. So we're the ones winding up on the street with no place to go. I don't see how they're not liable for that. On Friday, October 13th, San Marcos police conducted a criminal trespass operation to make sure people weren't squatting, with another notice given on Monday. They can't just make us leave and pretty much literally just throw us all out on the street because that's exactly what they're doing. Officials say resources will be made available for some people who need temporary housing and hot meals. In San Marcos, Kelsey Sanchez, KVU News.